a second standoff, this time at a different airport in Somalia. Airport security in the port town of Bosaso refused this airplane to leave the semi-autonomous region after military instructors from the United Arab Emirates refused their luggages be checked. The incident comes days after airport officials in Mogadishu seized close to $10 million from a UAE-owned plane, sparking a diplomatic standoff between the two countries. The Arab nation has several military bases in the country, including one in Mogadishu. Last week, Somali authorities disbanded a military agreement it signed with UAE in 2014. Abu Dhabi retaliated by announcing that it will end the training mission over the latest incident. Ahmed Hirsi is an independent political analyst and says that the latest fallout will have an impact on recent gains made on the security front, especially against Al-Shabaab and ISIL in Puntland. Puntland needs more military support because UAE trained a huge number of troops for the semi-autonomous state and I don't think there's any country that can fill that gap. What Somalia is seeking now is to end UAE's interference in Somali politics but still wants continuation of military support. The UAE have trained and equipped more than 2,000 forces, BNBF forces in Puntland uh, and they were here since 2010. These forces are based in all over Butlan, from Garaad to Basaso to Alayo. They are in Garaad, they are in Ain, they are in Skusuban, they are in Hafun, they are in Bargao, and they are in Gandala fighting ISIS. But in an apparent turn of events, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in a press statement has now hinted out the possibility of releasing the money after days of investigations. For now, it remains to be seen how the diplomatic standoff will be resolved. Several Arab countries have offered to mediate between the two Arab League members. But experts here say that UAE is trying to punish Somalia for picking a neutral stance in the blockade against Qatar. In early March, Somali lawmakers banned the Dubai-based shipping company DP World from operating in the country after it emerged that the Arab nation signed a multi-million dollar deal with Somaliland, a breakaway region in northern Somalia. Part of that deal also includes the establishment of a military base in the port town of Berbera, a move that has since been strongly opposed by the federal government based in Mogadishu. The Arab League recently concluded its gathering in Saudi Arabia, with leaders affirming their support for Somalia. The Horn of African Nation says that it welcomes any form of support, but warned against any interference in its internal matters. Abdulaziz Bilal, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.